uh, application salt and olive 1160 Mass Ave uh, for a change of location to 36 J F K Street. Good afternoon. Please state and spell your names for the record. Madam uh, Chair, Chief Andrew Upton, you can feel left with the licensee. With me is Mary Taylor, T A Y L A R. Yeah. Owner and proposed manager of record. Thank you. I have one thing. I went to the location. This is not on the second floor. This is on the first floor. They technically refer to it as the second floor because John Harvard's is seen as the first floor. Not in the building per se. If you go to the building and you walk, yeah, all the signs say second on the what would be quote unquote the third floor. Yeah. Um, so I just want to make that clarification. I wanted to know did the second floor come from the lease agreement? I didn't see it there either. Or where did the second floor come from? It came from the, la the landlord from told the us landlord. to list it as the second floor. Yeah. Okay. Was there a if, if you prefer, we'd like to list it as the yes. ground floor, first floor. Yeah, I mean, it is an odd building because mm -hmm. there are tiers to it, but the, the way that they yeah. identify it on the building per se, the second floor is where Newberry Comics is. But the landlord tells us that when you're on Dunster Street, you're coming up to the second floor. Um, it's yes, it is an odd building. I yeah. absolutely so agree. It's just but we're place. but we're calling it. Was a we're, was yeah. a what address are we using for it? Maybe that because if we use Dunster, yes, it would be. But if we're using the JFK yeah, no, Street, JFK. thirty-six JFK Street. Okay. Is our mail address? Yeah. Okay. I looked quickly through the. Um, Through the whatchamacallit, through the uh, lease. lease, thank you. And I didn't see, yeah, so see, it, it says it right there, of space on level one, the first floor above street level of the building. So I would suggest, Councillor, that we change it to on the, on level one, and then parentheses how it's listed on the lease, the first floor above street level. Finally. And then I wanted to clarify only because I see this in Cambridge a lot. Um, we are certain that the address is going to be 36 JFK and not Dunster, correct? That's correct. Even with ISD and everything, 36 JFK That's across correct. the board for across everyone? The board. Beautiful. Thank you. And now you may start, Counselor. Uh, this is for salt and olive. Uh, we believe the character and fitness of the applicant has been tested. They've been a licensee, uh, same ownership, same manager, uh, down on Mass Ave on the edge of Harvard Square for several years. Uh, we believe there is a public need based on the landlord's essentially recruitment of this uh, operation for the space, based on our support from the Harvard Square Business Association and with several neighbors, uh, letters of which you uh, hopefully have received by this time. Um, so we, I believe both the uh, technical requirements uh, are met and the, uh, the applicant's record speaks for itself, but I thought I'd let her talk a little bit about why she wants to make this move, why it's important to the business, and why hopefully it's good for everyone involved. Yeah. Um, we've been open since August of 2014. Um, our business is really focused on two main areas. We offer unusual flavors and ingredients and gifts from around the culinary world, but we also focus on uh, food education and classes. That's a big piece of, uh, of the equation for us. It's about food education. Um, in our first year, we were lucky enough to be voted uh, Best New Business by the Boston Globe. Uh, we've been nominated four consecutive years by the readers of Scout Magazine as Best Specialty Food Store, as well as Best Gift Store. So I think uh, we have a great amount of uh, loyal customers uh, since we opened in 2014. We're particularly excited about the move to the garage, um, number one, because the traffic will be significantly higher, and obviously for a small business that is a very, very important piece of the equation. 
Um, and the second piece of the equation is that we will double our footprint from a store space standpoint, which will enable us to offer more products, more varied products, uh, in addition to what we already carry, which are organic spices and teas and oils and balsamics, one of the largest salt collections uh, in the United States. Uh, we are adding fresh pastas and sauces. We are talking to a meat purveyor as well as uh, produce, if we can get CSA drop-offs, things like that, just so we can offer more to the Harvard Square community, things that are a little bit more difficult to get. Um, but it also allows us to uh, uh, designate a specific area for classes so that we can really focus on increasing that piece of it because that's something that we really love to do. So those are um, a couple of pieces of the equation that are really important to us. Um, and there's no question that the beer and wine license, which we acquired in 2017, you know, we're all watching brick and mortar change before our very eyes in the age of Amazon. So we, the beer and wine license helped to solidify and strengthen our business. We will need to do the same thing for us uh, in the garage, even with increased traffic. Um, is already the number two uh, part of our business. Um, so it is, a, it is a pretty critical piece of the equation. So the garage is, is an important uh, move for us uh, to stay local and stay dedicated to Cambridge. And you will continue being the manager of record for us. Is the space in the garage larger than the current space? Two times the size. Twice the size. Are you up to date with the rules, laws, and regulations with regards to the sale and service of alcohol? I am. And do you understand that we expect you to stay up to date with those rules, laws, and regulations? Yes. Thank you. Um, anyone in favor of this petition? I would say we received support from Trinity, Trinity Property Management President John DiGiovanni. We also received an email from Birch and Annie Manushagian. I'm sorry, I'm probably butchering those names. <laughs> Um, we also receive emails from Michael and Danielle Hestron Grader. Um, we also received an email from Denise Gilson, which I'm unsure whether she's sending as Harvard Square Business Association uh, Executive Director or as patron, but she is also in support. And that is all that I have received with regard to that. Anyone else? Anyone in opposition to this petition? Okay. I would vote to grant. Grant it. Thank you. Thank you very much.